situation in our different schools in Cordillera, for those who are able to do that. And we are several schools in the area. Um, we have 46 schools, but out of the 46, I can say maybe about seven or eight are doing something like this. At any rate, we started off by looking into the data per school, and the school administrators were encouraged to do something about it. But now we begin to realize that more and more we have to face this issue with the parents themselves. So for those of us who have good parents associations, we have parallel programs and coordinate this because the parents have to help the other parents. And then those who are serving as guardians of the children of, of the OFWs in our schools. The strategies we, we have in our schools are uh, meetings between and among children of OFWs by our guide, uh, guidance um, personnel in the different schools. And with our parents, they conduct sessions among themselves led by the officers of the parents' associations. I, we feel that these are our initial efforts and they're doing, they are giving us very good um, results because communication between and among the children and between and among responsible adults in our schools and beyond the country is going quite well. To this time. Thank you for that. Yes, that's a very good point that you mentioned, Chan. Thank you for that. Uh, but if we also enlarge it, actually the family is facing a lot of challenges. You have the reality now more and more of single parenthood, the reality of abuses, domestic abuse in the family, uh, even sexual abuse. Uh, so this OFW is again another phenomenon. That I think we, as an association, to be honest, I, I don't, I don't recall. I, I've been in CAB since 2007. I don't recall, uh, it, you know, that we have really discussed this extensively. Maybe some schools are doing it. That's fine, but and some regions are doing it. But as a one body to address now the complexity of the family, that was not the reality before 20 years, 30 years ago, uh, 40 years ago. I guess many. Of you, you can relate with that generation. That was never the reality. And the reality that more and more the, the, the multimedia is, is really at play. You know, when I was growing up, we only had one black and white uh, TV station. Uh, we had our favorite three stooges. But now, it's just so many things that, that get in the way. Some of them are helps, but some of them may not help in the whole educational process. Now, whatever we do in school, can easily be reversed by the family. Yeah. And if the family is dysfunctional, whatever we do in school, no amount of intervention yeah. will help the student. So I, I think that's that's a good point to, maybe we can discuss this further. Uh, I will invite my, my colleagues to, to see how we can address this complexity, because this is really a very complex issue. Thank you, Father Tony. Any more questions? Yeah. Yes. As regards to the question as to what has been done to address the question of how Catholics or Catholic schools. Uh, just last year, uh, we are trying to our best in our diocese standard to adapt that. Uh, Sister Bernardo, Sister Bernardo has, has pioneered in her school in Antipolo, the RCC, WBLS. Or in, it's it's a, an approach to re, to retell the gospel or the message of salvation in all the subjects. And Rex Bookstore has already published books to that effect. And we are adapting that slowly in our diocese. We have, we have 12 schools or 11 schools under my coordination. Another as, as regards to the children we have going to use. In, in our diocese, particularly in the Bistic City, in Malagoy, we organize the parents of the OFWs through the, and follow them up through the basic racial communities. Because we found out that in our school, it's uh, problematic yung mga bata ng OFWs. So we look into this, and one parent who is an OFW 
suggested, and so we we worked it out and have it as to see anchor with the basic Christian communities where the follow will be done in the Christian communities. So it is helping a lot. That is, as far as we are considering in London Diocese, as addressing how Catholic or Catholic schools are as well with the Buddhist children. <laughs> Thank you for that, Father Agvan. Uh, we have uh, questions. Just uh, one last little from the media. If there's none, uh, thank you. Thank you for coming today. And I would like to acknowledge also the organizing team from Ateneo de Tabao who made this possible.